So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could do a Cruella de Vil origin story. The lady from 101 Dalmatians that wants to skin puppies? Yeah, how did she get to be the kind of person that wants to skin puppies, you know? Let's get to know her. Ah, I'd rather not. I don't want to do that. Well, we're gonna. How are we gonna make people want to watch this character's backstory knowing she turns into someone that wants puppy skin? We're gonna have her go up against the Baroness, who's so obviously evil that people are gonna root for Cruella by default. Oh, so by contrasting her with someone more evil that makes her sympathetic? That's right. So technically, we could then make an origin movie for the Baroness. Sure, if we contrast her with somebody more evil, then we can make an origin movie for that villain. Oh, that's a very good point, sir. We could keep making origin movies like that all the way back until the dawn of time. Yeah, I mean, let's not exaggerate. We could probably stop at the dawn of time. Then again, they do say that time is a cruel mistress. Oh, that's a very good point. So we should probably do an origin story for time itself, yeah. Yeah, so maybe time had a rough childhood. Who's to say? Let's cash in. I love it. Anyway, so we're gonna meet Cruella as a little kid named Estella, right? And she was born with black and white hair split right down the middle. Why? Because the character's known for having black and white hair split right down the middle. That makes sense. And one day she's being kind of cruel, right? So her mom is like, hey, your name is Estella, not Cruella. Right. And that's how she got the name Cruella. Oh. Okay. So. All right. See, sir, the thing about origin movies is that sometimes you gotta explain how certain things about a known character came to be. Oh, you do? Yeah, like later in the movie, she's gonna hear about a car called the DeVille, and she's gonna be like, oh, I like that. And that's how she got that part of her name. Well, now that you mention it, I had never wondered about that. Well, now you know. I suppose I do. So anyway, Estella's mom one day is gonna be asking this mysterious lady for money at this gala, right? But these Dalmatians are gonna push her off a cliff. Cruella DeVille's mom was murdered by Dalmatians? She's Sure was, sir. A Dalmatian jumped on her and she fell to her death. What, did the dog go over the cliff with her? No, the Dalmatian did a kind of drop kick move that it somehow knew, so the Dalmatian is fine. Oh, drop kicking Dalmatians are tight. So then Estella's gonna go to London and meet these little street urchins named Jasper and Horace, and she starts dyeing her hair red. Okay. And so then 10 years later, they're like a thief team, right? But her real passion is designing clothes. Sure, sure. So Jasper and Horace get her a job at this department store, and that eventually leads to her getting discovered by the Baroness. She's evil. She sure is, sir. So Estella starts working her way up the ranks in the Baroness's fashion company because she has really good fashion ideas. Nice. But then one day she realizes that the Baroness has her mother's necklace, so it clicks like, oh, my mom was kicked by a Dalmatian at this party and I want this necklace back. So what does she do? Well, her and her friends plan a heist at this party, but as a distraction, Estella becomes Cruella. She changes her hair color back to black and white. So she's, she's Cruella now. She's Cruella from here on out. Out, sir. She's mean to her friends. She's mean to everybody now. Doesn't revert back to Estella, even at home. Oh, no, she's Cruella now. Oh, that felt a little abrupt, but I'm into it. So Cruella shows up to this party and sets her own dress on fire. Oh my god, is she okay? Yeah, it completely burns up in like a second and reveals an amazing outfit underneath. But how does she have Hunger Games fire technology? Unclear, but at this party, the Baroness uses a dog whistle, which like triggers this memory that Cruella has, and she realizes that the Baroness killed her mom. Oh, very! Very rude. Yeah, so now her mission is to start upstaging the Baroness all the time as revenge. Oh, it is? Yeah, she's gonna show up and be like, hey, everybody look at my clothes. Nice. And then later she's gonna be like, everybody look at my clothes. Amazing. And then a bit later she's gonna pop out and be like, everybody look at my clothes. I love it. Oh, and I should mention these are very nice clothes. Oh, that makes it even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does she hide her face from the Baroness or, or what's up? No, she doesn't. So how does the Baroness not recognize her employee? Well, sir, like I said, her hair is different now. That works. But eventually the Baroness is gonna figure it out. So she tries to, you know, burn her alive. Oh my god. Yeah, but the valet is gonna save Cruella and then he's gonna reveal that the Baroness is actually her biological mother. That's a thing that happens in movies, so it may as well happen in this one too. Oh, it's gonna. So then Cruella goes to this other big party that the Baroness is throwing and she purposefully has the Baroness push her off a cliff. Oh, it's gonna be hard for her to survive being pushed off a cliff. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, she designed her skirt to have a parachute inside of it. What? Did she test that? I don't see how she would have, sir, but she's very good at designing clothes, so... So her whole plan was to hide a parachute inside her skirt and use it for the first time during a deadly fall. That's right, sir, and it works perfectly, because that's what I wrote here. Well, great! And then also her team had instructed everyone at the party to step outside behind her, and so hundreds of people saw the Baroness push Cruella. She didn't hear hundreds 
hundreds of people step outside behind her? She didn't, no, and luckily every single one of those people stayed perfectly quiet for some reason. Not a word was spoken. Oh, well that worked out great. It sure did, sir. So then Cruella inherits the house and the Dalmatians and the fortune and the Baroness gets arrested. Wow, 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 wow. And then in a mid credit scene, we're gonna reveal that the Dalmatians actually had puppies. Oh, and so are these the puppies that Cruella wants to skin eventually? Oh, well, no, I don't think Cruella would want to skin puppies. But that... That's the character's whole thing. Yeah, well maybe we're doing like an alternate reality, Cruella. Like at a certain point of the movie, it's gonna seem like maybe she did skin some dogs, but she didn't, really. But she's going to eventually, right? That's like the whole character. I, wouldn't, I can't really see her doing that, no. Okay, well why make Cruella's origin movie if she's not gonna turn into the Cruella that people know? Because name recognition will make people wanna come watch the movie and therefore minimize your studio's risk in investing millions of dollars into this project. That's a good point, I love it. Anyway, so Cruella's gonna have these puppies Perdita and Pongo deliver to Anita and Roger. They're from 101 Dalmatians. They sure are, sir. Why did she deliver dogs to them? Because. That works. So what do you think? Well, I'm a little disturbed to learn that Perdita and Pongo were related, but this sounds like a lot of fun and relatively low budget. Oh, I should also mention that this is gonna take place in 1970s London, so there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for cool music. Okay. And we're gonna take every single one of those opportunities. Oh my god. Let me ask you something. What's your usual music budget? I, I Double it. I didn't even say a number. Then triple that. I, we're gonna have wall-to-wall -wall needle drops in this thing. It's gonna cost you a fortune. Oh, uh-oh, oh no. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's gonna be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.